Let's showcase this ASUS A409F-JEB096T. So this runs a 8th gen processor, so this will be Coffee Lake or KB Lake R. I don't quite know because Intel's naming scheme can be quite the f confusing mess at times. 3.42M, 19 volt input using a 65 watt charger. We got the Windows sticker and then MCMC, which is a Malaysian certification. Air intake here, air exhaust goes there. Four rubber feet, dual speakers. Nothing on the bottom except a little notch for you to open a hinge, uh, open up the laptop. On the sides, we got ourselves our uh, DC in. You got our regular Type C, not Thunderbolt. Exhaust as mentioned earlier. We got a HDMI port. We got ourselves a USB 3.0 Type A on this side. On this side, we have ourselves our battery status LED, as well as power status LED, micro SD card, headset jack, and then dual USB 2.0 ports. And I believe that it's just to be a regular Kensington lock. Judging by its uh, height, it is not a normal lock. The hinge on this particular system can only open to that extent. So uh, not that much. The power button is integrated to the top right hand of the keyboard. And we got a little sticker here that says Asus laptop, narrow edge display, thin bezels for immersive visuals, lightweight, extremely portable, and it's got a super battery. Safeguard the battery, HDMI and Energy Star sticker there. NVIDIA sticker without any reference to the model, which is probably good because it only has like a low-end MX230 graphics, if I'm not mistaken. Nothing spectacular. And yeah, 8th Gen i5 with that pretty cool effect on the sticker. This is the keyboard. And I do know that this particular unit I'm demonstrating is missing a couple of uh, covers for the hinges, so that's why you can see the hinges. And yeah, there is a FHD 1080 sticker at the top left. And then over there, we got ourselves what looks like to be our camera, a small little dinky mic, our camera, and that may very well be a dual array microphone for left and right channel. And we've also got some rubber feet at the top. So yeah, that is the showcase of the ASUS A409F. Unfortunately, no Ethernet port, which is a bummer, especially considering its thickness. It probably can accommodate an Ethernet port. So if you buy one of these, I would recommend you obtain a USB to Ethernet adapter if you have access to Ethernet, which you should definitely have.